Hey, bears. Bear stands up on his hind legs. I'm like, why, Mike? Is this really a good idea? I'm pretty scared. They're gonna eat me. Well, we're gonna try. I mean, we, we gotta try this. I found something out this morning that I think you guys would like to hear about. Mm. You know these. Does it involve eating those fish? Um, I like wiggle nervously. I'm like, oh no, this is happening. No. Would you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm a trout. I'm trout. It is an Eden of every imaginable land, from desert to forest, mountain to sea, jungle to glacier. It is an Eden surrounded by an impenetrable wall, broken only by a single gate, which no one has ever used. Uh, we, the children of Eden, were born of it and into it. The garden is the only home we have ever known. There are few of us, and we live in harmony with nature and one another. Our paradise is shared with the animals of the world, who speak to us and tell us many things. They live and die by their amoral instincts, knowing nothing of right and wrong, but we learn from them all the same. What animals what? do people want? I know what I want. What I do you want? What I want. Catfish. Ooh. You also want to say if there's one or many of this animal in the garden. One. I'm gonna do raccoon. Ah! Oh, gonna do raccoon. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. it's not yes. it How many raccoons? One or, or are there a lot? One raccoon. One raccoon in the garden. So fire nice. ants. I'm gonna do with bears. Oldie but goodie. Mm -hmm. Classic. Classic, Classic bear. bears. Raccoon lives by a stream. I continues this way a little while. How do I draw rapids? So there's some waterfall right there. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> frog? That totally yeah. looks like a frog. You used to sound a little bit bad. Aww. Did you say one or many? Yeah, and it's, Rock hawk. Again, it's a one hawk. Solo hawk. You mean hawk solo? Mm hmm. <laughs> Maybe it's a sea hawk. <laughs> oh yeah, with flowers. Cool. With yes, flowers. that makes sense. A flowery meadow. My person's going to be named Fu Hall. I'm going to be Amina. My character's name is going to be Malon. I think the bears taught Amina um, how to fish. And by fish, I mean like literally leap in the water and grab fish and eat them. Their raccoon taught them how to find things that are beautiful. Malon's skill is how to organize a project. So uh, Lamek um, learned from the catfish the skill of how to eat pretty much anything. So how did Lamek learn from the catfish how to eat anything. Lamek was um, lost. He ends up at this big, huge just marsh, and he has no idea where anything is. He's starting to get hungry, but he doesn't know how to find any food, and that's when he meets the catfish. Mm -hmm. And he tells the cat, you tell the catfish, like, oh, I'm so hungry, like, do you have anything I can eat? And the catfish is like, look around you. I think the lesson is don't judge things by their appearance. The bears are just like, they hold Lamek in this weird regard, like, they just do not understand Lamek. Because they're like, you know what Lamek does? Lamek spends all this time hanging out with a catfish, but not eating it. <laughs> I don't know why! The bears just do not get it. They're like, that one, that is a deep thinker. Did you take these? Yeah, I mean, you know, we had to dig a little for them, but yeah, these are the gems that are now ours. Is that right? Is that right? And the raccoon kind of goes like, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, oh yeah, uh, Fuhal learns a lesson from this, finders keepers. <laughs> <laughs> Those don't belong to you. Those belong to the ants. Oh yeah, how come we have them then? Because you took them. So then we have them, they're ours. No, that's not... That's not how that works. They were just in there. It didn't look like you guys were doing anything with them. What do ants do with, like, yeah, ants stones can. anyways? What do you do with them? We'll wash them off, and they're so pretty. They make our lives better. They're beautiful. We're going to have them. Just having them is the best. Yeah, you rub them over your face. And... Oh, that's a good idea. 
Which is like, <laughs> they make you happy. I feel really happy right now. Ants are too small to rub anything on their faces. Yeah, ants are so stupid. And, and their, their faces are full of chomping chompers. I don't even think are... they have faces. <laughs> They're too small to have faces. <laughs> you have to get permission. You can't just walk up to it. You no, should know that. You totally can. We did it in, at night. Yeah, which is why I'm here. Look, I'm taking these back, and she starts picking them up. The and like bites her on the hand. She drops the crystals, and and she like glowers at, at both of you back and forth. She's like, the ants were right about you. You're a bad person. We will not be told what to do, and walls will definitely not stop us. In fact, that makes us want to like, I mean, Raccoon's really good at like digging, so Raccoon's definitely gonna try and dig a hole in there. The bear, the little bear says, um, man, it's so far. And, uh, uh Amina kind of goes like, boop, on the bear's nose. Because <laughs> the distance is not the problem. Why doesn't that fish ever swim up here? I think it's a really lazy fish. Do you see how it's just like floating there? Mm -hmm. All the other fish that we catch, they're like wriggling everywhere and real jumpy like. Which is the fun part when you're just like, yeah. you get your claw and just... Yeah, Gosh. you know you only eat the catfish. Oh, I would eat that catfish. The bear, and the, the catfish is bigger than this little bear. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a By nice far. change of pace, change of taste. Don't you worry. We're gonna get some catfish. I think the lesson we've seen so far from today's game is that our characters are selfish and thoughtless for the most part, and that most of our agendas revolve around taking things without really thinking of the consequences or doing things without thinking of the consequences to others. I strongly suspect that we're going to abruptly run up against the realization that that's not really a way to proceed as people. The catfish kind of like swims lazily up and like pokes his head and is like, oh hey Lanish. Uh, on my way over I saw the bears and I heard them talking about you, about you catfish. What were they talking about? Um, they were all talking about wanting to eat you and how they're sad that they can't. Oh, that's it's not good. This is my, my house, you know? I don't have anywhere to escape to, I don't have any weapons. The best I can do is like stay under in the where it's murky and hope that they don't try and like claw me. You'll protect me if they come down here, right? You're my friend. Oh yeah, I, I don't know what I would do uh, if they if they came down here, but I would definitely help you however I can. I promise, Catfish, you're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> they decide to um, like put some rocks right around here and like kind of start like preventing some of the water from flowing down towards the marsh. So over time, the marsh slowly gets, like, smaller. I'm actually really worried about the catfish. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think of devious plots to save the catfish. Because the catfish is the best. And it seems like most of the, a lot, of, a big chunk of the story is, is revolving around killing the catfish, who's my favorite animal, so something has to be done. So like there's almost no pond left and Lamech is like trying to carry catfish to Aww. the hippo pond. Uh, yeah. Hang on catfish, we're almost there. I, I haven't go any farther. No, don't worry, I'll carry you. Just relax, just hang on. <laughs> oh, I wish we had spent more time together these last few days. I've been running around trying to persuade bears and you've been suffering and uh, it's okay you're only human don't worry we're almost there i'm telling you this place is great there's hippos they'll protect you there's so much water cat ca catfish catfish <laughs> Um, sitting in the butter butterfly meadow, chatting with them, and only eating plants. 
let loose the ants of war. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amina rises up from mounds. The ants are now on her side, and yet the bears, I think, have now flipped and are serving Malin. And it is it is bear on ant war raging through the jungle. In the night, we see, you know, bears working around the clock. She takes her human ingenuity and she just turns it into into war. I want no part of this ugly, ugly mess. And they pretty much spend all of their days kind of just either chipping away at that dam or, you know, fort getting eating trout and ignoring them talking. And then at night, like kind of going around to, to all of the different places and trying to scavenge for beautiful things. They just kind of keep them themselves and try to like make things back to the way they, they are, even though they know that that's probably not gonna happen. 